Billy Carter and SOV song called Friend Unfailing right here on Guts Gospel United Save a Variety Talk Show with a Christian point of view. Hoping that you will have the guts to tell somebody about Jesus. I'm your host, Nikki B, and we thank you so much for tuning into the broadcast and being a part of what God is doing right here and right now. We hope that you will continue to tune in, and we want you to know that we're getting ready for an update from Harvest Rivers International School of Ministry.
Understand, sing praises, not crazy. Is the Father worship you? You're the best love that I ever had. I love you. Cause it sure is I know my name. I know one thing that'll never change. I love you. WX1. All right, hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Jonathan McC McReynolds, a song called I Love You. And I tell you what, there's somebody that's coming on that's just that kind of person. And it's none other than the ruling elder of the Harvest Reapers International School of Ministry, Reverend Isaiah Clay. What's going on?
Amen. 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 Yeah, we thank God for that. And uh, one of my friends who was in that class, uh, Gabriel Day, and uh, he's got a great project out. As a matter of fact, great uh, artist as well as a minister of the gospel. And uh, we thank God for that. And various others who were graduating, I mean, just did a tremendous job. I was looking at some of the people. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to stay for the graduation on yesterday, but we did have a, a tremendous crop of people who were graduating on and being consecrated on yesterday. So I'm not so amazed that God just entered in in such a fiery way on last night. Yeah, you got to bring it back to the basics. <laughs> Let them know, hey, we, we, we thank God for that. We do thank God for how God is just doing great and mighty things. Well, indeed, we are glad. Uh, share with us a little bit of the highlights of, of some of the things that uh, may have been said, uh, even through the uh, staff and the teachers. That's awesome. That's awesome. I tell you, it, it's been great. It's been tremendous. Uh, I understand even uh, the apostles going to be uh, doing some Bible study classes to help the the community. Wow, that sounds so very interesting and uh, and uh, quite amazing that he'll be offering that and there's no fee, no, wow, that's just amazing. Uh, you can't get that anywhere. If I were you, if I, if I were you, I would uh, make sure and get myself signed up, listed up, I don't know, find myself there on time, making sure that uh, I have room because it's going to fill up very quickly. Yes, sir, it is. 
That's right. That's right. Amen. All right. Well, thank you so much for calling in and sharing with us and keeping us abreast of what's happening at Harvest Reapers. If there are any other students out there, anybody else, or graduates, people who have attended Harvest Reapers International School of Ministry who'd like to share with us your thoughts, your ideas, what happened and what you saw. And, and maybe somebody was at the uh, consecration, graduation, ordination service. Uh, you can call in. Uh, the number to call, 877-217-5375, option number two. Or you can call 954-561-1553 or 954-561-1554. Thank you, Ruling Elder. Appreciate you calling in. We thank you so much for tuning into the broadcast. You are tuned into Guts of Gospel United Safe. A variety talk show with a Christian point of view, hoping that you will have the guts to tell somebody about Jesus. I'm your host, Nikki B. And we do thank you so much for tuning into the broadcast. Uh, going into a little bit, we, we'll uh, close out. We've got a few more minutes left. I'm not sure if anybody else will call in, but we've got a few minutes left. And we want to talk about apostolic guidance. We were dealing with the subject of uh, control your speech. And there's some apostolic guidance in, in regards to that. It, during the time of this writing, religious leaders were no longer ignoring the new Christian church. Although they were still a part of Judaism, Christians were now being singled out, and the persecution of Christians had begun in earnest. Two other men named James mentioned in the New Testament, the apostle identified as the son of Zebedee and the brother of John, and the apostle identified as the son of Alphaeus, have been martyred. Similarly, Stephen had been stoned to death for his faith, in this increasingly hostile and dangerous atmosphere, it is not surprising that many Christians were abandoning the faith. Internal strife was also taking place within the church. Christians were dealing with doctrinal arguments, false teachers, power struggles, gossip, and slander. Sounds familiar, doesn't it, church? The Christians were being encouraged to pursue self-fulfillment during the time many philosophers believed and taught the importance of knowledge for the sake of knowledge. Very little importance was placed on putting knowledge into practice and so many people want to know stuff and want to be able to lord over you but very few people actually do what they know oh my goodness and you know the more you know the more you're accountable for my god they mistakenly taught that the way to spiritual enlightenment was through knowledge or gnosticism and james wrote to combat this mindset faith not knowledge is key our faith is rooted in our hearts and it is this faith that transforms us into doers so he wasn't just dealing with faith alone. He was dealing with faith that produced doers. Uh, we don't just have knowledge or we just don't have a belief system, but we have faith that causes us to act. James ins insisted man seek to attain the will of God. Only then can we bring about a change in our lives and in the life of the church. We must seek the will of God. We are God chasers, if you will, and I know some people don't like that because they say, well, God is not trying to hide from us. He's not. And his will isn't even trying to hide from us. But we have so much that we must overcome in order to get to it that we must chase after it. In other words, we must seek it. We must pursue it as someone who pursues anything that you are unaware of or that you are not as clear on. And so we are encouraging everybody to chase after God because he is now, the only way, though, he, God said, you must believe that I am and that I am a rewarder of them that diligently seek after me. He doesn't say and, but it, that's the context of the story. He says, believe that God is a rewarder of them that diligently seeks him. So if you diligently seek, you will get the answers. He will feed those who are hungry and, hungry and thirst after righteousness. So seek the will of God. And when you seek it, seek it to do it. Not just to know what it is, but seek it to do it. You tune in to Guts. I'm Nikki V. Hoping that you will have the guts to tell somebody about Jesus. I'm your host, Nikki V. And until next time, have the guts to tell somebody about Jesus. United to say it's the Guts Gospel Show, a variety talk show with a Christian view. Your host, Nikki V. Featuring open discussion, event spotlights, and special guests. Tune in weekdays while you're the evening show at 10 a.m. Guts Gospel Show. Welcome to Jackson and Roofing, a waterproof specializing in all types of roofs and repairs. Yes, we make roofing better every day. 
new and real roofs. Waterproofing can extend the life of your roof up to 10 years and save you money. Good news gets even better. Mention you heard it on WEXY and get a $250 discount on complete tear off or $125 of re roofs. Yes, all work 100% guaranteed, licensed, and insured. Family home and operated. Proudly serving South Florida since. 1989, commercial and residential, and for free estimates.